Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Thank you for being here. Um, this is Tanya's Tea Time. I am Tanya. Um, we're going to do a reading. Like, I woke up this morning and said, I have to do Aquarius. Um, so we're going to do an Aquarius reading for December overall. Uh, look for your weeklies. I've kind of been slacking this week, but it will continue next week. Um, we will do the last couple weeks of December. I'm also going to be doing um, the 2022 um, predictions. So look for that as well. Aquarius, first card out I have for you is the Four of Earth. Um, normally this is depicted by someone holding on to these coins as tightly as they can but you see like these coins are floating freely above her these coins are suspended in the air um and she seems to be very grounded i just feel like this yoga energy some of you might uh like doing yoga or meditate often i just feel like this very calm very serene very good energy to be in aquarius um i hope you're feeling this or if you're not feeling it you will be feeling it and maybe this is also suggesting to um to meditate and you see too okay look she has like these um like almost like antlers but they're like growing from the earth she's grounded here she's like actually almost become one with the earth and she now is almost like reaching out her answers are growing up like a tree like reaching out like a tree towards the towards the heavens i almost get like this is Definitely some sort of suggestion to meditate. If you're not, um, listen to your intuition, listen to your downloads that you might be receiving. Some of you guys um, get messages in your dreams. Please don't ignore them. And some of you are very connected to nature, Aquarius. And um, some of you have animal visitors that come and visit you. Uh, don't shy away from the fact that these could be messages for you or synchronicities. Keep your eyes open in nature. I know me personally, myself, I'm very connected to nature and there's certain animals that speak to me. Um, when I see them, I'm just like, wow, okay, I'm paying attention. <laughs> um, so you might feel this way, uh, Aquarius, some of you out there. And if you guys um, are not feeling grounded at this time, step out, get outside. It's cold here in Germany, but we always go outside. Um, it's just what we do. I know in the U.S. when I was living there, we tend to stay inside when the weather's bad or it's cold. Um, get out of that. Go outside. Put on your coat. Take a walk. Get fresh air. Um, open the windows every day. Um, yeah, really start connected with nature. I got for you the Six of Pentacles first card out for you, Aquarius. This is what comes around, goes around. What you reap is what you sow. Something um, coming into balance for you. Uh, again, look, there's these balances here. I feel like you've really gone within. You've healed a lot, um, Aquarius. You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of thinking, um, and I feel like in the month of December, you have something beautiful coming in. You have, you have judgment here. Um, this is, are you ready to be judged? Have you done everything you possibly can um, when you've had enough to give to others? That is coming back to you now. I, I think, yes, very much so, Aquarius. I think you are very giving. The Aquariuses that I'm talking to you, here very giving very loving very grounded very appreciative for everything that you have um wow this is just um this is beautiful and now i see why i was called to do aquarius's uh reading today um 
And this is what you need to know too. The, the seeds that you've planted are ready to spring forward. These pentacles that you've um, invested in, the, the time and effort that you put into uh, work or a relationship or your family life or a project, whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest and meditate on and bring into your life, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. This is like um, looking at all the work that you've done and realizing that the roses are about to just bloom. It's like seeing that bud before um, that rose blooms overnight. Okay. This is gorgeous. I'm going to pull just two more cards for you, Aquarius. We'll see what else wants to come out and then we'll start clarifying. Um, but so far, December, see, working with others, working in groups, um, this could um, also be some sort of, this could also be somebody watching you too. I'm going to see how this works out, how it plays out. Some sort of chaos. We're going to clarify that too. And choices. Uh, possibly being overwhelmed by choices or um, having to make a difficult decision, but having options, 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 options to make a decision about, okay? Tail end of December, you might feel um, overwhelmed. I, I feel like that's where that chaos is. I feel like it's more of an overwhelming mental um uh, mental chaos that might disrupt your meditative state because you're going to have this, um, these options and choices to make. Okay. Let's clarify. <laughs> and if you guys haven't, um, subscribed, I'd love to have you back. Subscribe. Um, if you guys like tarot, Oracle messages, artwork, and, um, yeah, hit the like button if you can. It really helps the channel grow. Um, this channel is growing very rapidly in the last month. Um, it's a baby channel, but I, I've just been very humbled and honored um, with the amount of growth that we've had in the last month. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's very much appreciated. Okay, let's clarify this. Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, please, for Aquarius, for December 2021, and December is almost over. You've had to walk away from something, sail away, get on the other side of the water, but you've carried with you some sort of hurt and pain or painful memories with you of what you're pretty much walking away from. Um, but I feel like because this normally comes after some sort of upheaval, I feel like you've already been through this. I feel like because you've been through this, you made the right decision to walk away from something or somebody, people, places, things, fill in the blank. You guys know your situation better than I do. Um, because you've done this, Aquarius, the universe is now able, because you've healed from it, bring in these um, coins for you, these pentacles, this balance to your, to your world. It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. You know, sometimes with a situation we can never forget. It's hard to forget. But when we release the pain that it caused us, when we release that and heal from that, that's when the universe can bring in for us what um, is truly for us. Clarify this judgment here for Aquarius, please. For the month of December, 2021. Yeah, it's um, either you or somebody you had to deal with was the king of swords. Somebody that's very intellectual, very intelligent. You might have been dealing with um, a air sign uh, with these swords here and with the balance of the scales in the other card. You might have been dealing with an air sign, but this is also indicating that 
you or someone else had to put up some boundaries with you walking away, I feel like, like this is you. You might have had to be very direct with how you speak um, because you've been through um, these experiences that were hard and difficult. It's had to make you a little hard on the on the outside, um, Aquarius. Um, and I feel like because you were able to separate yourself from this difficult situation, there's judgment here. And now the universe, again, can bring you the happiness that you're looking for, your wish fulfillment, your success in whatever this is, if this is a relationship that you're looking for or a work situation, it's really, really beautiful because you've done the healing, you've done the work, you've put up those boundaries that were difficult to put up. And now you are definitely reaping the blessings, reaping the rewards. This is it's amazing. Let's go towards this end here. I'm curious, what is this three of pentacles here? Please tell me about this three of pentacles. And if this does not resonate with you guys for some reason, please go check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs, okay? Um, that might be able to tell you a little bit more. And if you don't know what your moon, your rising, your Venus is, um, take a look on the internet. There are many websites you guys can go to where you can pop in your birthday, your name, your city that you were born in, and um, it'll pop up all your needle chart information <laughs> yeah this three of pentacles somebody hurts you but you're at the end it's a 10 okay i feel like you guys have both had to to be di very direct because now i have a pair on here i feel like this is the other person i feel like you're this king of swords on this side this king that has the backing of this king that has the backing of the universe the king that has the backing of the divine god whatever you guys want to call it allah whatever you are called um you call your help from above okay um this is the universe backing you as this king that put up boundaries had to be direct had to speak your truth was enlightened has been enlightened has gone and healed and now you're receiving these blessings this queen was somebody that was coming in between i feel like this is them coming in between you and maybe someone else or this person's trying to do this in the month of December, beware. Um, I feel like this is a very nasty queen of swords. Again, it could be an air sign. Please check your, your uh, chart to your needle chart. I'm really feeling strongly some of you might have air in your, um, in your placements, um, but you could be dealing with somebody that just is nasty, somebody that is mad that you moved on with someone else or you're moving on with somebody else somebody else that's bringing you your your family happiness somebody that's completing you oh i see what's happening now <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this person's watching you. I feel like this person's trying to come in between your happiness in December. That's why I have this like warning here at the end. This person caused you pain, Aquarius. This person like might have like made you feel like they left you for dead. They might have just wounded you over and over and over again, but it's the end. It's the end of that chapter. It's a 10. Um, so when you're at the end of a chapter, the only way to go from there is to start from zero. And I feel like that's where you're at. That's why you're in this meditative state. That's why you're in your happy place. You've already been through the hurt. You've already 
went through this horrible experience with this person. You've had to put up your walls, your boundaries. You've had to speak very directly. You've had to uh, maneuver in life very intelligently. And you're grounded, you're balanced, you've healed, you've moved on. You've moved on. And I feel like in the month of December, some of you might be hearing from this person because you are in a very good place. You're about to reap your pentacles, your, what you've been investing in. You could have been investing in a, another person, somebody that completes you. I feel like many of you are, but if this is a job situation, you guys are moving up in in your from where you guys were you're in a totally different place aquarius and if you guys don't feel like that it's coming okay you will be in a di different material place than you were before what is this five of wands please this chaos i feel like this person's gonna try to come in and cause some problems Somebody's trying to manifest you, Aquarius. Somebody. Somebody knows that you're the magician because you can manifest what it is that you want. Clarify further this magician, please, in this chaos. Okay, we want all these cards. Page of Wands. Planning, yeah. Planning, there's distance, nine of wands, um, having to, I see this always like, like having to protect what is yours. Yeah. And the ace of pentacles, an offer coming in, and the world, the end of a chapter, the beginning of a new one. Um, Aquarius, <clears throat> I feel like this person's going to try to come in, try to give you some sort of passionate information, try to come with, like, I've, I, I've been planning to come see you for a while, um, I just haven't done it, or let's plan to meet, let's plan to see each other. Uh, this person definitely feels an attraction to you. But I feel like this is you, Aquarius. I feel like this person's going to kind of mentally stir up um, some chaos. I definitely feel like that is more mental. I don't think this person's going to try to like do anything crazy. I don't get that kind of energy. I get more like this person's going to try to come in and say, hey, remember me. <laughs> Remember our good times that we had. Uh, and you're going to be like, no, I remember you being that. And I remember you doing that to me. And now I know that you're trying to do that to me. So um, I feel like this person's really trying to come in between your success. Your success with another person or your success in achieving your goals or your success in your material world. Now that you're successful, they see that you can manifest anything. They want to come in and try to manifest you. You're not having it because you know that the universe is backing you. The universe is blessing you with more pentacles. I told you your pentacles are here. This is the hand of the universe giving you exactly what you want. You almost like on a silver platter. Here you go. You wanted this, you manifest this, this is yours now, Aquarius. And you don't have to deal with this person. It's the end of a chapter, beginning of a new one. But I will tell you, for some of you, this is a choice. This is an option. This is a, this is a decision. And with that said, I'm giving you a warning because I'm feeling this strong in my head. Some of you really need to think about what is in this cup this person trying to give me. What is in this cup this person is trying to give me? This person's holding a sword. In these cups, you can see there's many different things, okay? And in this cup here, there is a snake. In this cup here, there is a dragon. And there are many other different symbols and things in here. 
there's only one cup here with a treasure you will have a decision you will have a choice to make do you want the old again or do you want to go with the new do you want to go with these pentacles that the universe is handing to you these blessings that the universe is handing to you this family situation the universe is handing you do you want it are you ready for it it is here for you the question is do you want to do another round with this person do you want another round and some of you i just saw two 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 some of you guys might uh, want to look up that number on the internet the angel number two 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 what that can mean for you um aquarius i feel like it's there's nothing else i can say the question is it's all in your hands the ball is in your court question is do you do you want to repeat this cycle again because if you don't if we don't learn the lessons we okay as a collective if we don't learn the lessons the first time the second time the third time it's just going to come back around again until we do learn. Really think about things um, logically. Logically. Really think about things from the head and not romanticize from the heart is what I'm really hearing for you. Because you have so much coming in. You've done so much healing, Aquarius, from this situation. You are receiving so much in December, the beginning of November, 20, uh, beginning November 2022. Interesting. Something might be for you at the end of 2022 as well. Um, the beginning of 2022 december into january there's so much coming towards you aquarius there's so many things that are going to be at your fingertips will you choose the old or the new it's up to you we all have freedom of choice it's your decision and i can't tell you what's right or wrong for you neither can the universe that's why we have this freedom of decision. <sighs> Remember this beautiful energy, though. This is what you're in now. This is, you've come a long way, and this is where you're at. And um, just remember that. Remember where you came from. Remember how much work you put into yourself. And remember um, the beautiful person that you are now. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, that ends your reading for December 2021. Uh, if this resonates, hit uh, the like button if you can. Uh, subscribe. I'd love to have you back. And leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, and claim it, definitely, if it's uh, your reading. And if for some reason 